Bougie versus Bargain with my Skin Like Foundation Sticks. Let's go. Hey friends, hey family. It's your girl, Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And I am getting over <laughs> being under the air conditioning and after an event and it raining here in LA. Y'all, my voice is going through. But it's coming back to normal. But I had to come with this Bougie versus Bargain. I am really liking these. Comment down below. Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. Now, of course, the Bougie might win. The Bargain might win one time or another or whatever. But I'm giving you some comparisons of things that are already in my collection. And it's actually helping me really declutter and figure out what I want to keep or what I want to lose and it's not sometimes we can let the price of it make us you know I paid a whole lot of money but it's not working for us and so why are we holding on to that when that six dollar foundation stick from elf is the bomb you know I haven't tried that one but I'm just saying but in today's video we are doing hourglass versus minted so I love foundation sticks, okay? And I know I've talked about them. I love to contour. I love to highlight. I love to um, use them as foundation sticks. That's what they're for. I love the skin light texture. I like when they are nice and they glide on and they blend and it looks just like you put on a liquid. I feel like cream products really work for my skin. I have normal to dry skin. I'm only like oily around my nose. But I love foundation sticks because they're quick, they're easy, I can do them, I can use them in the car. I have no time. Y'all, literally every single day, I am in the car in LA traffic for about four hours. My children go to school in two different areas and then I have to go to work, then I have to go pick my son back up that's in a different area and then come home. Yes, so literally like about four hours in traffic. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's the reason why I love foundation sticks. So let's get to it. Let's compare these. And let's talk about the vanish stick. Because this was my OG, my love for a while. And I have some pros and cons about this foundation. So this is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I have it in two shades. I have honey. I have amber. Now honey is my normal shade i would say amber is more on the orangey side if you're like nc 40 i don't know nc maybe nc 45 let me take off this <clears throat> honey is more of or this is like to me the equivalent of wearing tahoe in you know if you wanted the shade match and then honey is more like nc 42 44 and this one goes a little bit yellow both of these are yellow if you can see that this is the hourglass singless vanish stick foundation it comes in 30 shades which is so good it's so nice so you pretty much can find a shade for you you can highlight I've, I do have one that I use as a concealer, which is really good. It has high coverage. It's very high pigmented, highly pigmented. And um, I feel like you can find a shade for you. <sighs> However, this one goes bad on me so quickly. It retails for $46. $46. This is 0.25 ounces of product. This is a quarter of the amount of what you would get in one ounce, like one fourth of the amount that you would get in a liquid foundation. And But it's highly pigmented. It does last a long time. That's the pro. Okay. But I feel, I, you know, I think a lot of people were slighted when this first came out and they felt like that they weren't, they weren't getting enough of the product. But I can say I can do a couple of swipes. I do not have to swipe this one as much as my minted. However, this is the deal breaker, y'all. This breaks up on me. I can get a good about five hour five hours of wear of this, and then my forehead and around my nose breaks up so bad, like I have to go in and do some touch-ups. We as girls that are dry, we don't usually have to do that. So I was not prepared 
for a touch up. Then you got to figure out how to touch up because we don't know how to do that type of stuff. We don't know how to touch up. So that's that. Let's go to Minted. Minted comes in 16 shades and it actually starts from my skin tone basically. I have the lightest shade in the collection and then it goes 15 shades darker than that. I have three shades. I have L20, L40, and T40. I was sent the minted and I actually was gifted the amber one from Ipsy. So y'all, this is not changing. The only one I paid for was honey. This and honey went bad. Okay. So this is not changing my decision on if I love or not like them or whatever. This one looks amazing, but for five hours and I'm not used to touching up and we like stuff that lasts all day. Why do you think all these things say 24 hours, you can sleep in the makeup, never do that. I mean, that's what we love. Okay. We don't like to like reapply. Once we put it on, we want it on all day. If I have on, if I put my makeup on in the morning, I want it to be looking just as good when I get off of work. I don't like it to be like looking crazy. I'm not used to touching up y'all, which is why, although the Vanish Stick has twice the amount of shades, y'all. And that makes sense because my shade used to be the darkest shade of foundations of a lot of brands before, you know, they caught on. So it would go from light to my shade and minted does my shade and then deeper. So it's basically like vanish stick shades cut in half. So that makes sense. But let me tell you something about these. These look so good on my skin. I have it on them right now. Hopefully my lipstick is not bleeding. It looks so good. I have it on. I'm going to show you, up, you know, me applying it. But this stays on all day. It's super creamy, creamy, cream, creamy. This is so creamy. It's super blendable. I love how the tones and shades. Y'all, this L20, it says that it is fair. It's fair for, you know, dark skin, for, you know, tan, for brown girls. Okay. This is considered fair. Okay, so fair with neutral undertones, and I do have a neutral undertone. I can go with a foundation that's kind of pink and get away with it, or have a yellow tone. I prefer a yellow tone, but this one is a perfect shade. I have not found a shade more perfect. L20 is the bomb. It's the goat, okay? But I do contour and bronze with T40, and then L40 is basically like the like my summer shade. I'm so excited. This one retails for $30 for 0.53. Okay, so you're getting twice the amount of the Vanish Stick in here and you're only paying $30. Mm. So really, if you wanted to do the equivalent, this is point, I'm sorry, you're not getting twice. Yeah, you're getting twice the amount. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. Cause this is 0.25, this is 0.53, okay? twice the amount yes so if you doubled up you know $46 that is what $92 versus 30 okay so what wins obviously the bargain wins in this category oh my goodness I am loving these so much it's not about making a decision. Of course, it's up to you. I'm just telling you based upon me having normal to dry skin, me, me being a woman of color, I like the minted. I feel like that they did an amazing job on the consistency, the shade matches, the shade colors for women of color. And these run more yellow undertone, um, but they do have some neutrals and everything. I don't want to say that, but um, amber and honey are the ones that's closer to me. Um, let me know if there's another shade. But y'all, I don't even think I'm going to get the Vanish Stick anymore because it only lasts five hours. This lasts all day and I don't have to set it. I don't set the Vanish Stick either. It's a great foundation, but this is better and it costs less. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't see the last video where I compared the L'Occitane, this $48 foaming oil, versus this Nivea for only $8. Check out the bougie and bargain battle, okay? 
check that one out. I know you're going to love it. And it'll give you some new, new merchandise to think about, okay? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.